G'day guys, how are ya? BJ Lyons here, and today's topic for the video is warming up under the barbell. So I thought I'd put this video together just to run through um, how we should attack our warm-ups getting underneath the bar, warming up for our, say, squats, bench, and deadlifts. Um, this can definitely be covered for all those uh, variations of those lifts and, and pretty much any, any real exercise that you're doing. So um, I myself generally program some like active warm-ups, so some, uh, that'll be some activation drills or some just some opening up of some joints, running them through the full range of motion that we're gonna be using in our, um, in our workout. But then um, I assume my guys are gonna go get under the barbell and start periodically warming up to their, their top sets or their working weights. And I have been caught out one or two times by um, some clients who have been in the gym for a long time and I dropped the ball, just assumed they knew a little bit more about warming up than they uh, currently did. And they jumped straight to their top sets after doing a few kettlebell swings, um, so a few pull-off presses and then jumping straight up to, you know, like 180 kilo sets of five deadlifts. Now, um, the body's really good at getting conditioned to what you run it through, so sometimes, you know, if you're used to that, it feels normal. But um, one thing that gets missed a lot of the times is, with warming up underneath the bar is just simply repetitions. Um, repetitions is skill acquisition, and skill acquisition is getting better at your lifts. The more reps that we do, um, in general, the more practice that we have. So if we're only doing five by five, so 25 reps on, say, a basic squat session, um, by warming up periodically, 10 reps on the bar, a couple, eight reps at 70, five reps at, you know, 100, and then dropping the singles, warming yourself up, that's at least another 10, 12, sometimes 20 reps that we accumulate over that training session. And they all add up in the end of the day. We're greasing that groove, we're priming the body to get ready for what we're doing, um, and, you should feel a lot more ready to attack those weights once you get up to those weights. So uh, what do I recommend? Um, Included in this video, there's gonna be some just basics, me warming up for a few top sets that I did before a comp recently. Um, you know, your warm ups, you should, you should build the pattern over time, feel out what works for you. If you're looking for a rough guide, I, I often say, you know, at least three warm up sets before we get to working weight. So that's three, um, that can be empty bar, 60 kilos, 80 kilos, working 100. Obviously, the stronger you get, the more working uh, warm-up sets, sorry, you're gonna need to get to those top end weights. So possibly, you know, if you're working up to 200, you'd be looking anywhere between three to five. If you're, you know, if you're a 300 kilo squatter, you might need at least six warm-up sets just to bridge that weight on the way up to get to, the, uh, to your top working sets. Um, I myself, when I'm warming up, I like to do a lot of repetitions on the light weights, feel out my movements, feel my joints, feel how my body's feeling that day, um, and then I'll drop weights pretty consistently as the weight goes up. So for an example, for a deadlift, um, I'll do a set of 10 at 70, a set of eight at 120, and then I'll drop my reps to four, maybe at 170, and then maybe just a single um, from there. So um, as I said, Everybody should have a formulated plan on how they're gonna attack it. You build that plan over time with training. So, um, you know, try things out. Always hit an empty set on the bar, uh, head a set on the empty barbell to start to really feel how the body's feeling and go from there. Like I said, basically three sets, up to five warm-up sets through the, through the warm-up till you hit your working sets. You don't wanna do too much that you're tired, but you definitely want that body to be firing, body temp to be up, heart and lungs ready, to, ready for some work capacity. Uh, hopefully that's helped you guys out. If, uh, if you have any questions at all about warming up or just general training protocols, I'm, I'm more than happy to discuss them. Whack it in the comments below. Uh, make sure you like this video and sub to the channel to see the next video when it comes out. Really appreciate it. And um, yeah, as from that, stay strong, party on. Excellent. Peace. Yeah.